If you can get the king to visit your bedchamber on the first evening, you'll be perceived as a great success. Yes, so far it's been a huge success, and, and uh, we had a feeling that we were doing something that we would be pleased with uh, while we were doing it. Uh, but we didn't ever know. And then when we saw the film, I think everybody was very relieved, and we we saw a Danish film that we have not done before. It doesn't look like a Danish film. It doesn't sound like it, and and we were just very pleased that we made uh, we made something rather unique in for our country at least. I knew, I knew the basics and I knew quite a few details as well, but I, I did pick up a couple of books and, 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 and read them just to be sure and get inspired by little details that I might be adding to the character and might not. And uh, so, But I did, I did know the story from, from the beginning. I was an innocent, married simply for political union. No, I think that Getting into the head of a character that uh, is that is 250 years old is, is the same work as getting into somebody we invent today. This was a very modern man, and he's probably got feelings like you and me. And, and but he was fighting for something that uh, that was not existing at the time. And I, I think that is uh, we can make a parallel to a lot of things today. So I didn't see that as an extreme challenge just because it was uh, from 1700s. Yeah, I'm, our approach, I mean, there's very many different versions on how selfish was he, how, how much was he doing it for his own benefit and how much was he doing for the nation. We can only guess for, uh, how it was in reality. But in our version, uh, he does love the king, and, but he also needs to fix the country and he also needs to have an affair with the queen. <laughs> and, and, uh, and, you know, down the line, down, he just forgets about everybody around him and, and he forgets about the king, his friend. He's his loved one, and he gets tunnel vision, and, and, and it obviously can only end one way. To a man who cared little for me. Drikke, jeg kan godt lide luder med store bryster. Jeg kan godt lide slås. Og hvad der gælder det? Well, I, I do think that every time you play a, a good guy, you have to find something dislikable about him, and, and vice versa. Uh, and in this case, you, as you say, he is a good guy. He's doing the good thing. But the way he's doing it might not be as clean as we wanted it to be. Uh, I, I think that that dualism has to be in every character. If you can put it in there, you're happy. If you can't, well, that's how it is sometimes. Well, it's it's crown jewels. It's uh, it's treasures, you know, from from our national history. And and uh, and I, what could I compare it to? Somebody who'd made a film about the Lady Diana, I, I guess. Uh, uh, it is something that is very close to people's heart, and it's also something that really shaped the modern Denmark. Uh, and besides that, there's a real true and powerful romantic love story in the film, uh, which is not invented. So I think you know, this combination of, of, of drama and, and love story is, uh, it never goes out of fashion, and when it's true, it's even stronger. As Struens' influence grew, his grip on the king tightened. I think you can be a fantastic king, Christian. But while he gave Christian back his mind, what he gave to me was more powerful and far more dangerous. Well, yeah, I mean, Dogma did place Denmark on the map, and uh, we became famous for shaking the camera up and down and, and, <laughs> and, and saying words that nobody understood. Uh, and, but among these films, some of the films were fantastic, and it did place Denmark on the map. But having said that, that's always been a tradition of doing other kind of films, and some of them have been traveling and some have not. And this is, uh, is kind of like... It, it, a budget that is reaching the, the sky, as we can say in Denmark, is six million pounds, which is yeah. an enormous amount in Denmark. Uh, and, 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 it, and it does look like something that is from here, or from America. Uh, and we do still take the strong tradition of the, the acting, way of acting into this kind of film. Uh, and, and hopefully we'll see more of that. Yeah. It was a walk in the park. <laughs> no, I, I enjoyed it a lot. I haven't been home for five years doing anything. I've been doing, as you said, English-speaking films or French or German-speaking films. Uh, and uh, 
Well, that at least was one thing I didn't have to think about when I came back. And, and but it, but it was still was a different kind of film, as you said. It was a, a different approach. Uh, so, uh, so it wasn't a walk in the park, but it was it was nice to come back. Are you sad? No. You're a legend, Mitt Landstrømse. I can do whatever that passes me. Kong lets us dictate directly to an oplysningsman. You're a skilled province lad, and you think you're crafty, but you can steer the whole land. It is quite surprising, actually, because it's it's been around for now 250 years, and and it's always been extremely dramatic, and everybody knows about it. But but how to attack it has been the big issue, and uh, they've made several attempts and and stopped again, and, and uh, but then Nikolai came up with the script, and and that was that was the right angle, uh, and all of a sudden, it was a reality, and we made it. Oh, he can definitely go on to Hollywood. I mean, that he is very inspired by Hollywood, uh, uh, as as most of us. I mean, I didn't grow up with Czech Czech film or French films, but I grew up with American films or British films, uh, and and a lot of them are fantastic. And and uh, and the way he works, his style, his his uh, professionalism with the camera, his visual talent, and on top of that, his extreme close relationship with his actors and every time we have second doubts about something or we have any kind of trouble he always have a solution somehow uh, so that combination will bring him very far i'm sure our affair would change a nation forever We were socializing a lot off set. Uh, we were like stuck in Czech Republic and we were filming and in the evening and discussing what we we're going to do tomorrow and how we we're going to approach it. And uh, But it was interesting because I, normally I'm the young one. I'm always the kid in anything I'm doing, but all of a sudden I was the old one, you know? <laughs> and here they were, these two extremely talented young people. and, and uh, But they were just um, open-spirited, great talents and they were working just like they've been working their whole life yeah, and, and it, was, uh, it was just the process of almost playing it through. Ah! 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 Ah!